If you've been a weekend woodworker for a while, you've likely heard someone say something about grain filler, and you wondered what it is and what you should use it for. Put simply, grain filler is used to smooth out the surface of wood before you apply your film finish. Some types of wood have open pores. Oak and ash are good examples. Even when sanded, you can feel the grain on the surface. Maple, on the other hand, has closed pores. It'll feel very smooth after sanding. When you apply a finish, it will conform to the surface of that board. And when the light rakes across that finished surface, you'll see those open pores as well as feel them. Some people like that natural look and feel. Others want a smoother, even a mirror-like finish, such as might be found on a piano. Another place where those open pores may be undesirable is if you've got some old oak cabinet doors and you want to paint them. I personally prefer a smoother surface on tables and countertops. In all these cases, I might use a grain filler to even out those open pores before I put on my film finish. There are many ways to fill the grain. You can wet sand with tongue oil or boil linseed oil to create a slurry of dust and oil that will gradually fill in all those pores and then harden. Another method is just to apply lots of coats of clear finish, such as polyurethane, sanding each coat down a little bit until all those peaks and valleys are filled in and you level it off. I've also seen some folks use wood putty, even drywall joint compound to fill pores before painting. I like to use a water-based grain filler called Aquacoat. This is not a sponsored product. I buy it myself, I have no connection to the company. I'll link to it below if you wanna try it out. I like it because it's easy to apply, there are no VOCs or harsh chemicals, and it dries quickly. So let me show you how it works. This is a piece of white oak that's been sanded to 220 grit on both sides. We'll treat one side with filler and leave the other side unfilled so that you can see the difference. If you want to stain the wood, do that now, before you apply the filler. Or you can actually add water-based dye to this type of filler itself. That will accentuate the grain as well as fill it in, if that's a look you want. Virtually every article on grain filler that I have ever read says to apply a thin coat of shellac or another sanding sealer to the bare wood before the grain filler. The reason for that depends on who you ask, and often the information is kind of contradictory. For example, if you read the online instructions for this particular grain filler, it says it should be applied after a piece is stained and or a seal coat has been applied. But if you read a little further, it contradicts that by saying, if no stain or seal coat is used, you may apply it to raw wood. I like to use a sealer first because that's just the way I was taught to do it. But I didn't seal this test piece, and as you'll see, it came out just fine. So I'll leave that issue for the finishing experts out there to debate. The filler is a light paste. I like to apply it with the same type of plastic spreader that you might use for body filler. An old credit card would work too. Try to press it into the pores as you cover the whole surface, and then clean off the excess. Then let it sit for a half hour or so. Before recoating, lightly sand by hand with 320 grit just to smooth it out a bit. Then put on some more. You'll want at least three coats, but these go very quickly because it spreads easily and it dries fast. Let the last coat dry overnight, then lightly sand one more time before you begin applying your clear finish just as you normally would. You can't feel the difference through the camera, but the filled side is much smoother than the unfilled side. You can see how much smoother it is by the way the light reflects off the surface. This is a satin finish. Were this a high gloss finish, you'd really see the difference. Grain filler isn't for every project, but if you work with open pore wood, such as oak, ash, and even walnut or mahogany, you'll be glad you had a can of this stuff on the shelf. See you next time. We couldn't do what we do without folks like the Bushy family over at Clearview Cyclones. Not only do they make the best dust collection cyclones on the market, but they're woodworkers supporting woodworkers. They're the sponsor of this video, and I really hope you'll thank them by visiting their website and using our discount code below this video. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe, and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up, or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nub's Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.